out here uh, this evening uh, just for, for a little run with this granite um, as you can see she's kind of took on a new look um, I did put a uh, pro line uh, tent scale um, 72 Chevy body on it uh, the C10 and also on the back here I've uh, put on an outcast a 4s wing and wing mount uh, and bumper um, before the way I had it before you know with the blue body the uh, blue um, uh, Ford body the back of this truck was just getting beat to death you know just from not having any kind of protection back there so i figured you know putting on the wing and uh, and everything really you know help protect the back of the body and uh, you know, just the whole back of the truck there's also the wheelie bar ended up failing on me too um the the, the wheels kept breaking off of it and stuff the uh, t-bone wheelie bar so uh i went ahead and uh, incorporated that onto it it was a direct bolt up you know um like everything you know within the 4s and 3s range a lot of it's uh, interchangeable so I think it turned out really cool. Um, I use these uh, body mounts too that flex. Um, you know, I think it gives it the, the old armor look, you know, with the wing. So uh, I'm definitely gonna give it a rip. Uh, nothing uh, else has changed. I'm still, uh, still running the um, hot racing uh, motor mount with 18 tooth pinion, uh, 3S. All right, and all Italian here uh, from the last bash, uh, I did uh, end up, the uh, servo went out uh, just on a really hard landing on, uh, some, on some really, on some gravel. End up taking out the servo, so I do have the uh, Savox um, 1210 in it now. Uh, that's the first time I've ever ran one of those servos, so I've, I've heard a lot of good stuff about them. So I'm gonna see how see how they hold up. Uh, also, uh, real quick on your on your uh, steering, uh, to help try to save your servos, which I wasn't really doing this before. Uh, if you take it, see if you turn it all the way, there's a full revolution and the tires are still turning. So if you have if you have your steering rate turned all the way up. And you turn it now and see the tires have stopped turning but the servo horn is still trying to push so if you turn your steering rate down i've got mine turned down just about halfway and now it's a full revolution and that'll that'll really help save your gears and keep from burning out your servo it's pretty much you know like setting up your uh, endpoints but it's just a little bit quicker to do it that way um, all right guys let's see what we got Hey guys, it's really dry and dusty out here. <laughs> We've had no rain in the past couple of weeks. It's like all winter, it rained every day. Oh, that was rough. That was wild.
Guys, that was a big jump. <laughs> <laughs> Almost in that pile of rocks. Oh, that was a ramp shaver. <laughs> All right, guys, on that, um, ramp shaver there she looks to be okay i just i do have a blown bearing back here so i'm gonna go ahead and replace that real quick yeah i'd say that bearing was toast what do you think <laughs> that dude was jamming jamming on the motorcycle Oh, <laughs> that almost went out into the creek. Oh, man. <laughs> that was rough. A big shout out to uh, Notorious J. <laughs> We're gonna have some shirts made that says man that was close <laughs> and man that was rough hey guys check out his channel if you get a chance he's got some good stuff oh all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it with the tally, and uh, she's, she's getting really hot. She had thermaled on me just now, and uh, my motor mount just shifted on that last jump, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it. This is a fresh pack, too, and I don't, I don't like to over-discharge a, uh, a brand-new pack. Uh, it's the uh, Power Hobby 6S. So, All right, granite was a blast. Uh, new bod gives her a little new look. Uh, the Italian, hands down, again, my, my, you know, my, favorite, my favorite truck by Arma. This thing is just, I mean, it handles, it flies, it, it's tough. And uh, an M2C chassis is basically a one and done. And um, I don't think there's even a need for, for all the other upgrades, really. Maybe chassis braces, stuff like that. But it saves so much having the uh, M2C. I mean, I had that shaver going probably almost 70 miles an hour and nothing broke. Um, you know, because there wasn't any chassis flex to bend everything up. So, all right, guys, it was a blast. We'll see you next time. RC Dude 81, peace out.